everyone welcome back so what's next what about this thing 404 super sport that has been sitting up for about 20 years and has had a few other people working on it you know just the usual so it's ended up with us um, the goal is just to get it built back together get it going um, it's had a lot of different people working on it leaving a lot of different things here and there so we're just going to get stuck into it get dug into it deep find out what's been done what hasn't been done what needs to be done and get it going again so it should be a fun wee project kind of cool so a bit of an update on the bike and um, just been stripping at it and going through it um, obviously the wiring's a bit of a mess a couple other people have been working on it and you know I think most of it's there but it's a bit of a mess so I've just been gathering up we've got the right battery for it got the right air filter and um, going through all the parts that are with the bike and uh, I think we'll have a lot of things you know only a few wee small bits missing like you know for brick calipers and you, know, you don't really need them um, somebody's been at the carbs anyway. Um, yeah, the linkages are very sticky. So I think we'll have to get some cables ordered. I think it's in the cables really. They're old. Um, all the brake lines, you know, mm, hard to know what to do with them. I think I'm going to replace them. Um, so I'll get some new brake lines ordered. Um, clutch seems to be working. Um, someone's obviously been through it. There's no oil in the engine, and we're missing clutch adjuster screw. So we'll need to get one of those ordered. Um, I'm pretty sure they might be all the same. Maybe someone knows. I'm not sure if they're all the same or not. Um, engine, you know, seems to have compression. So. I think as long as we can get some spark to it and some fuel in it, that it should fire and run. Not exactly sure the specs on these valves, but we'll get them all adjusted and give it its best chance. Um, yeah, a lot of things have definitely been done. And then a lot of other things definitely haven't been done. So I think we'll just like again the idle screws not even touching so you know obviously I, I think this was started and then it's never ran since i think it's been off the road 20 years or something uh, they were telling me so it's been through a number of workshops and been tried to be restored ever since with varying degrees of skill and obviously a different plan so you know, I'm going to keep it simple. We're just going to get the thing to run, get it out, um, drive it about, see how it goes. And then if we want to start in mm, Cafe Racer it or, or do something else with it, we'll do it afterwards. After we can get the thing run and get a summer out of it anyway. So we'll go with that. We'll keep working. Um, next job, I think it's going to be basically to start and strip into these carbs and these cables. Get that all freed up. Get testing on the wiring and see if we can get some spark get a few things working on it and then i think we'll probably just stick a tube on here and we'll feed some petrol into it and see if we can get it to fire off and if we can get that to work then we'll start working on all the other minor systems like bricks etc etc so here we go um, what i'm doing off camera is just going through here and trying to catalog and work out what everyone before me has been doing with this bike so several bags and boxes of bolts and I have taken a look around the bike trying to see what was messed with and what wasn't and I'm a big believer in this anyway I don't know about everyone else but I've made a list. 
today I'm going to be starting to look at the front brake caliper. So I went through all of the uh, boxes and managed to guesstimate and pick out what goes where. See here there was an old piston pitted. Found a new piston in another box. Got pads and a few miscellaneous bolts, nuts and washers. So what we're gonna do first here is put this back together. Um definitely not gonna pretend to be an expert on old Hondas, but um just kind of using a bit of common sense here. The thick pad's gonna go there and the thin pad with the hole in it's gonna go on this side. And I assume the split pin was used to hold that in, except going in the other way. And um, find this too. Someone has bought focus caliper rebuild kit. So we'll use that, I think, and we'll start to put this caliper back together. And once we get that done, we'll put it on the bike. And I think the brake line's gonna have to be replaced. Hmm. Maybe not actually. Doesn't seem to be too pitted, but we'll see. I'd already kind of mocked the caliper bracket together just to kind of work out in my own head what way it was going to go together. So we get this put together, get it on the bike, get it bled. That's one job done. front caliber put back together anyway. There's a caliper mocked up and back on. Get this brake line bent up nice and neat here. Um, get it on, get it all tightened up, and that's that job all done. Okay, so off camera, I have moved on to the wiring. Um, still, obviously, looks like not much, but it's uh, all together now. And have the battery hooked up. So, we'll turn the key on. That's a good sign. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I've topped it up oil, so I'm hoping. Oh yeah. 
make enough oil pressure to put the light out anyway so that's good and I'm going to do a compression test next so brand new plugs in it anyway and I'll get that right size tester and we'll uh, compression test this thing have this master compression testing kit here and basically all you do is pull the plug match the thread up quick release fitting on this end quick release fitting here on the gauge and we'll screw this in and then basically hold the throttle wide open crank it over see what number she makes Wouldn't be dire by that. Make the seat. If it's making a bar in that cylinder, that's about the height of it. Not a good start. So we're gonna have to look at this and see what's happening. Um opening so check the valves see what's going on there see if we've got a tight valve or anything we'll go from there valves all seem to have clearance and they're all moving so yeah we've got an issue here so gonna have to start and look a little deeper what I'm gonna do <clears throat> I'll pull the second cylinder in actually I might pull this far cylinder it'll, it'll be easier to get to I'll pull it and uh, compression test that just to <clears throat> make sure it's not a fault with the gauge before I go and do anything else extensions in it and the fact that it's a small engine hmm, interesting so I checked the rest of the cylinders all of them are even they're not registering much on this gauge but because each cylinder in this thing's only a hundred cc's and it's got this whole tube plus that tube, plus the gauge. I think there's just too much volume in it to get it to register. When you put your finger over the hole, crank it over, it's it's making plenty of compression. So, had a look around it, and someone has done a really nice bodge repair on this coil. Lovely. So, ordered a new one. I've got a new coil now. I'm just in the process of Fitting it and wiring it, I'll put that on, I need to put the ends on, and yeah, hopefully that will uh, that'll solve that issue anyway. Thought these were quite cool. They're like a self tapping screw that screws its way into the high 
high voltage plug wire and which I thought was unusual I've never seen that before I have no idea how good they are or if they're completely useless or not but that's what's on this thing anyway I think that'll do it for this episode um, at least we know it runs um, I think what we'll start working on next is getting it put back together thanks everybody for tuning in uh, yeah check back again when we'll hopefully get this thing running and together looking like a motorbike again cheers